So in today's video, we are going to be taking a look at a TOF, a time of flight camera for the Raspberry Pi 4. So either you know a lot about this or you know nothing and it doesn't matter. Come on in and let's jump straight into the video. So firstly, what is a TOF camera? Well, let me, let me just read you what Arducam tells us about it. And the TOF camera that we are doing or that we are taking a look at in this video is the one from Arducam. So TOF stands for time of flight and a TOF camera emits modulated lights, CW method and uses the time it takes for the said lights to be reflected back to measure the distance slash depth info of any given object slash scene. And you can obtain depth data X, Y, and Z coordinate position in every pixel. So light travel is calculated with D equals C slash 2F, where C is the speed of light and F is the modulation frequency. So if that sounded just like a lot of gibberish, that's okay. So let me sum this up. So a TOF or a time of flight camera can calculate distance between the camera and a given object. So I could hold the camera in front of me and hold up a phone maybe or a person and it could calculate how far that object is by reflecting light off of the object object. So sounds pretty cool, right? And what makes it even better is the price of this camera. So this camera is priced at only $29.99, 30 bucks, which makes it extremely affordable to pretty much anyone. So here's the very basic unboxing experience as you're going to see right here. So it's a really, really small box. There's nothing much in it. You open it up and you're basically just going to get the camera and the camera connector, which will fit straight into that camera port on your Raspberry Pi 4. So a very basic box, but you know, it's 30 bucks. What do you expect? So first of all, let's talk about the camera. So it will work both indoors and outdoors as shown on the website. And it does support both 32 and 64 bit Raspberry Pi OS Bullseye. And in this video, I will be using the 64 bit version just because why not? So with that said, let's jump into our Raspberry Pi OS 64 bit Bullseye desktop and see how easy installing the software is and how well the camera works. So you guys can get an idea of what or how this camera really functions. All right, so here I am on the Raspberry Pi OS desktop and I am running the 64-bit version. So I'm gonna do this just like any normal user would and it is my first time as well. So let's see how easy this experience is of setting up the TOF camera. So I'm on the ArduCam website which and I am on the TOF or the time of flight camera section. So in this section right here, I'm gonna go, I already know where to find it, but yeah, you can follow me if you don't know. So cl you click get in now. Um, I'm looking for the instructions on how to set it up inside of Raspberry Pi OS. And I was able to find it by going to the purchase section. And then there's going to be a link below that. So I can scroll down right here. Um, scroll down a little bit more takes a little bit to load and here is the getting started with Arducam TOF, TOF camera section. So there's a website and it looks kind of like docs which it is their own docs to set up the camera. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open up my terminal on the side because we, we will be running a few commands. So you need to be running a newer version of Raspberry Pi OS and they give you a date right here. So make sure that it is a fresh install or just a newer version of Raspberry Pi OS. So first of all, we need to install the driver. So I'm going to copy all of this at once. You can do that. I'm going to paste it in here like this. Paste and I'm going to hit enter. And it's going to go ahead and download it from GitHub and install it on our system. And it's going to, it says right here, when you see the reboot prompt, press Y and press enter to reboot reboot so it is going to want us to reboot it says all right so here it says that the dri relevant drivers have been installed but i never got a reboot prompt but it says that you should reboot right here so i guess i'm going to go ahead and do that anyway so i'm going to type in sudo reboot so we're done with step one so let's go to step number two which is getting the repository so i'm going to paste this right in here hit enter and then I'm going to change into that directory as it says right here. So copy this little boy right here. And we're going to paste it over here. Paste. And step four is installing the dependencies. So let's do that real fast as well. Okay, so I didn't even see right here. It says that the CDing didn't even work. So let's type in ls to see what is right here. So the file should be called Arducam TOF Camera. 
why is it not right there oh because I'm not in my downloads folder so I'm gonna go so I'm gonna have to go right here I'm gonna just type in CD I guess it thought that I was in my down like this right here should be changed because I'm not it, it, it shouldn't assume that you're in your downloads folder like I'm not so that's why it didn't work so I tried to enter a folder that wasn't even there because it thought it was in my downloads folder but I don't even that folder is in my own my home folder not my downloads folder so there's a little bit of an issue in the guide right here I would probably say myself but you know if you're in your downloads folder you won't even recognize that but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna CD into it right now so now we could go ahead and install the dependencies because these two files right here or this this file right here is actually going to be be there now since we're in the correct folder as you can see right here so I'm gonna paste that in there and it's gonna go ahead and grab all of the dependencies all right so now we have installed the dependencies and now we're getting that re reboot prompt that it showed us to get up here which is a little bit strange okay so but i'm gonna still reboot again i'm gonna hit y and reboot once more so it looks like there might be a little bit uh, a little bit of issues in the docs currently as i'm making this video hopefully later on there aren't but for now there seem to be a little bit Okay, so I did not change anything, and it looks like after that reboot, my resolution of my system is completely messed up. It's like a square right now. Very strange, so I'm going to go into screen configuration and try to change that. Okay, so somehow by just opening up the screen or the resolution editor, my resolution fixed. I didn't change anything, it just did it on its own. So I don't know if that was due to the camera or my capture card or something weird like that. That, that was a little bit strange, to be honest. But we're going to go back and continue to try to install the software. All right, so now we are, we got to go back into that directory real quick. So let's go to CD, let's go right here. So it's CD arducam underscore tof so at least they recognize that it is going to reboot after here and they tell you to cd into the directory again again i wish it wasn't that downloads folder since everyone isn't going to download that to the downloads folder but at least they retell you again um and lastly we have to compile it so let's copy these scripts right here so we'll right click to so all right, it's gonna compile, and it says once it's successfully completed, a live preview of the camera will automatically pop up. So yeah, this process hasn't been too crazy hard. I I, I think it should be a little bit better organized in here since there were a few errors there and there. But overall, I think a user probably would be able to understand what they're doing. So let's hope that this finishes soon. All right, so right here you can see that that black dot is on me right now. You can see that in the colorful one, and the distance right now is about 0.49. So let's try to move this away while the black dot stays pretty much stayed on me. So as you can see, as I move backwards and as I move the camera backwards, I'm trying to keep the, the thing on me. The distance is increasing as now it is almost 0.80. So if I, I'm trying to keep that dot on me, it's a little bit tough. Huh? But as you can see, as I move back, the distance got a lot more. I'm going to try to get closer. Watch that. Watch that. The distance gets the distance is getting closer and closer as 0.44 and if I got even closer you can see that it is now 0 0.29 0 0.30 so it is telling the correct distance so as you can see the camera is functioning correctly right now but let me go research a little bit more and try to figure out the camera a little bit more all right so let's try to run a test right now so as you can see here is the tof camera in my hand sorry for the messy setup i know it is and here i'm going to have a raspberry pi so we're going to be measuring the distance using this raspberry pi so as you can see on the screen currently the raspberry pi is red meaning that it is very close to the camera and it is fairly close so currently at this distance and the black dot is on the raspberry pi at this distance the distance is 0 0.1 0, 0 0.0 something so it's pretty close so let's try to move this backwards a little bit all right so we as we moved it backwards it went down it went it's at 0 0.2 right now 0 0.19 so it did get a little further let's try to move it even further keep keeping that black dot on the object and as it got further it's it's went up to 
is 0 0.35, 0, 0 0.34. So it is getting further, which is cool. But let's try to move this black dot on here to some other object. So see this monitor right here? Let's click it on the monitor. So the monitor currently from where my hand is standing is 0 0.9, 0 0.8 away. And then let's say we move it to a different point on the monitor. And yes, it still is that distance. Or well, it's a little bit different. So that's kind of cool that it can measure things like that. And if we put it on this yellow area, this yellow area, which is kind of like a door maybe, is 1.71 meters or whatever, not meters, 1.71 away okay so i guess this is kind of the end of this video so i hope you guys have an idea of what a tof camera can do and especially the arducam one so this has been a pretty basic video because i just have i didn't spend a lot of time on it and i i don't know a ton about this but i do know that it is possible to create a point cloud with this exact camera which they do give instructions on their site and I was not able to get it working personally, but I do know that this YouTuber Michael Clements was able to get it working on his own video. So I probably was doing something wrong. I don't know a ton about this, and I really didn't spend a lot of time on it. But if it is something that interests you, go in, go ahead and check out his video because he does showcase it. And there also is SDK for this exact camera, also located on the ArduCamp documentation. So if that is something that interests you, go ahead and take a look at it. All right, so this camera is $50, like I mentioned before, and if you think that's a good deal for a Raspberry Pi 4 TOF camera, then go for it. I mean, it works in your Raspberry Pi 4. The camera connector fits automatically, and those GPIO pins connect directly to the Raspberry Pi 4 for external power, and it works. Um, I did I did have a few confusions with, like, after I installed that main driver and I got the light pop-up to see the distance between the camera and the object. I was holding up I wasn't sure how to get that pop-up to open up again I really don't know how to do it but I bet if you're looking into buying one of these cameras you're probably a little bit more knowledgeable about these topics than me I'm just being real honest I don't know a ton about this but yeah I hope this video at least gave you a, uh, gave you a quick idea of kind of how this camera works and what it can do so if you think it's interesting then go for it so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, a like. And if you really did, a subscribe would be pretty cool. So, thanks for watching.